what's up? Yo, black man. So, uh, you there? Yeah, I can hear you. I can't do it. You know, I I can't see you. You see what I'm saying? So yeah. I, you know, okay, never mind. We're doing radio. I remember we doing yeah, radio. I can see you. <laughs> <laughs> I can't see you. <laughs> well, you know, you know. Here's the thing. You know, every time I now, I don't, I don't want you to take this the wrong way. Okay, I don't really want you to take this the wrong way. When I think every time I think about you now, I think about prune juice for some stupid reason, right? <laughs> and, uh, and you know, and the thing is, I have this bottle. Of prune, I've had this bottle of prune juice for like I don't know six weeks or whatever have you. I don't know how long it is, and I haven't opened it. And I'm opening it now because I actually don't need. I don't need prune. I, I drink it because I like the taste of it. Actually, I don't need, I've had. Yeah, I was gonna ask you, like, why do you drink prune juice? I like the taste of it, and and now and now it's now I don't even need it at all. I mean, it's like my. Uh, for my routine here, I guess because a lot I've been eating a lot of nuts. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. I haven't had a lot of meat really. Uh, n- yeah. I haven't had a lot of flesh. Uh, right. I, I haven't had a lot of flesh when I think about it. Not at all for this time period. I just uh, you know I, I go I go by whatever is going on at the time. Anyway, I just opened my prune juice. Um, and no, but I have a, a prune juice question though. It's like you've yeah. been talking about prune juice for a while now. Yeah. And I'm like, should I be having prune juice? Like, it, and I don't know, for some reason, I never really looked to go, like, hey, let me look up the benefits of prune juice. Oh. Ah. Well, what did it's you like? F- I think about it and I say, yeah, I'm going to look it up and then I forget. Well, you, you need that. That's your assignment for next time. You need to find out about it. I'm yeah, bringing, I do. <laughs> I'm bringing proof right now. It's got, I got the. Uh, organic prune juice, not from concentrate, not from concentrate source. Important. And what does it say is here uh, as far as ingredients go? Ingredients. Yeah. Ready for the ingredients? Yep. Yeah. You got your pen and paper? Yep. Yeah. Organic prune juice. That's it. That's the ingredients. Oh, wow. <laughs> I didn't even need pen and paper for that. <laughs> I can remember that. <laughs> But my bowel movements, wow. my bowel movements lately have been so they've been smooth, you know, they've been you know I have have like two or three a, a day. They've yeah. been full. When I say yeah. full, full evacuation is kind of really interesting. I've really haven't had this, but I've been doing a lot of exercise. I'm talking about core work exercise and a lot of walking, of course. Yeah. And uh, I, you know, I, I eat at certain times of day. I mean, I don't, you know, I don't snack all the time. I do snack on nuts, but it's nuts. Like yeah. that. we used to talk about this stuff. Remember, we used to talk about this in a day. Oh yeah, all the time. Remember, we talked that conversation we had one time. We talked about how you, as a child, like we, me and you, used to do the same thing. We have a stool, and we look at the school stool. We actually look in the toilet bowl at the stool to see what, what kind of what kind of condition it was in. Oh yeah, absolutely. Whether it was floating, sure it was like nutty. <laughs> was it thick? Was it this or that? It's funny that you should mention that. <laughs> I've been looking at it a lot lately. <laughs> then when I had, um, I don't know, maybe like a little, uh, like stomach flu bug or something. I don't know what it was that uh, got me, but you really? know, it's funny that you mentioned the the prune juice and um, <laughs> don't take it the wrong way. I did it because it's like. I could have probably used some last night. <laughs> but you should, let me put this, you should always have some on hand. When I, when I say prune juice, you know what I'm talking about? I'm not talking about the sweetened stuff. Where like, like I said, yeah, you have yeah. to say organic prune juice. That's it. That's your ingredients. Nothing else. Yeah. And not, not from concentrate. Because as soon as you say concentrate, that means they got water and sugar in there. Yeah. And it yeah. says concentrate, they got water and sugar. That's that's all I can tell you. But that's, that's really good for constipation, right? Keeping you regular, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but yeah, I, I, what I, think, I had yesterday was, um, like, you know, it was like diarrhea or something. Well, that's something now you know. Now you do the opposite of diarrhea. You better, better eat some cheese, man. <laughs> yeah, some fiber or something, you know. <laughs> but what I did was, um, I took my um, my stomach ease tea. You know, it was one of the yogi teas. Yeah, but that stomach ease will, will pull pull stuff out of you too. Oh yeah, well, I wanted to pull it out. Oh. <laughs> like whatever it is, you got to go. <laughs> you understand? When you go, um, I went at like midnight, hmm. three in the morning, oh. six in the morning. Really? Yeah. <laughs> so it's like, yo, something wants to get out of here. Yeah. Well, you know that it's got to go. My, my, you know, my immune system said, look, you're an invader. 
you must leave. You must yeah. go. And you're going to go. Yeah. So what I did was I took the stomach keys and then, uh, you know, Trader Joe's got that um, um, ginger powder. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. You want to know what the ingredients? Please. You got a pen and paper? Sure. All right. The ingredients are powdered ginger. 100%. There you go. That's it. You know, in, some, in some people's system, ginger is actually will clog you up. Well, I needed it to... Uh, loosen. Not just loosen, but just ease. Like, just stop the spasms. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. You know, make me normal again. See, but here's the thing. People have to understand their own bodies. You know? Yeah. Certain things work with certain people, but some things won't. My classic example is that uh, because of my 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 incident with the sea and a bunch of other things, I went on a whole more than a, like three year tear of of, of healing modalities. Right. And when I say healing modalities, I mean I went basically all over India and everything like that. And yeah. I, I can tell you right now, acupuncture does not work on me. Yeah, acupressure is pretty good. Uh, let me acupuncture just say who was good on me though. Yeah. I like it. Which one? Acupuncture, I do. But yeah, well, it works on you. It doesn't work on me at all. Yeah. It's just it's just little needles or whatever it is. I have no idea. But what do, let me tell you what does work on me. The two things that work okay. on me the best, the most, yeah. is um, reflexology. Okay, and, so when when they're doing reflexology, what are they doing? Pressure. Yeah, that's pressure. But it's it's your, it's your feet. Now you have to look at it this way. Now I learned. I also learned for Doctor um, Doctor Michael Frost. People don't understand this. The, your body. If you look at your body. Right. The, the, your feet, your feet is connected to all the organs in your body, your, your whole body oh, system, right? Your hands are connected to all of your systems in your body, right? That's right. Yeah. Your ears, listen to me. That's why acupuncture is important. Your ears are connected to all of the systems in your body. Yeah. That's ready? where I had it, in my ears. Okay. Here's another one. You ready for this? Now, here's the one that people don't understand, don't know about. Okay, go ahead. And I got this from Dr. Michael Frost. In fact, he has a book that he, he passed a few a few years ago, but his book is worth like almost fifteen hundred dollars. Wow. Your genitals are t- connected to everything, all all the all the vital organs in your body. Mm. Now, if you look at the, these are your extreme areas, you yeah. know, some people even say your 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 well well your eyes your eyes is a, is a good um, there's a call it. Urology, yeah, I think it's urology, whatever it's called. I learned this in Canada, like in the eighties. Um, yeah. uh, for diagnosis pur- purposes, uh, the, the eyes or the oculus is it's a good way to, to to diagnose things like that. But also, in a way, not your nose, but your, your nose cavity. That's why the breathing is important. Is is is, yeah. is, is 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 connected, but not in the same way. So basically, your feet, your hands, your ears, and your genitals, all are points. If you massage those points, they will, they, they are, uh, uh, they, they, you're basically massaging all the organs in your body. You're all hooked up. Yeah. Like that. And people, people, people will, people will understand it. People will understand the feet. They'll understand the, the hands. They'll understand the ears. Some people, and some people don't know about the ears, but the ears too. But no one knows about, I say no, I shouldn't say it that way. But most people do not know about the genitals. Yeah. Male and female, because remember this society and this society that we're in, we don't deal with uh uh, uh with with with, with, yeah, with, 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 with the genitals. Taboo. Yeah, and and I think it's taboo for a reason. And here's the other yeah. thing is that you know also, uh, um, how can I say this? In, in, in a sexual sense, that's the, that's that's such a powerful energy, and and yeah, every it time is. it goes around that they harness that energy. That's why this whole thing, this whole pedophilia thing, this whole thing, you know, Kamala Harris and them, hey, part of this thing about, you know, oh man, should we get into this? Oh my goodness. But this whole thing with this, this, this uh, whole Kamala Harris, Joe Biden, Democrat thing, you know, yeah. this thing, I, I hate to go down the conspiracy rabbit, the rabbit hole or whatever have you, but this is a huge cover up for this whole, all these powerful people. They they prey on this sexual stuff. The, the Republicans hide it pretty good, but it's all these powerful people, you know. Yeah. In fact, if you notice, if somebody put out a thing on Instagram. They said, if you notice, all the all the endorsements for um, 
uh, you know, a lot of what well, I say, or I say, or whatever they say, the endorsement for, for Joe Biden and them is uh, there for people who have been on the Lolita, Lolita Express. <laughs> So, oh man, you know, you look and say, you say, oh, okay, you know. <laughs> Which I mean, I don't know if you, you follow me on Instagram. Did you see my one? I have, I had a breakdown. I had a breakdown on Instagram. I think I had a breakdown on Instagram where I was going, like, I was going like, oh no, I, I think something's wrong. I'm, I'm going, I'm actually, you know, there's one thing of, of, about voting for the lesser of two evils, okay? That's that's yeah. that's that's what they're trying to throw at you now. Now with with Ginsburg dying, they're going like, oh, they're going, oh, we're going to lose the Supreme Court. Oh, please, they lost the Supreme Court. You know when they lost the Supreme Court? You want, you want me to tell you when they lost the Supreme Court? And why they lost the Supreme Court? In fact, things go around in cycles. The same thing that happened with this Ruth Gate Bader, whoever, whoever, this Ginsburg woman, right? Yeah. Thurgood Marshall stayed on the Supreme Law Court longer than he should have. Yeah, he was on there a long time. No, no, that's not what I'm saying. It didn't matter how long he was, he was supposed to get off so that Carter could put somebody on. Mm. And he, I don't know, I guess they thought that Carter was going to get another, whatever. The same thing, people are not going to remember that. This Ginsburg woman, she was supposed to have gotten off with Barack Obama. But she didn't, because they, they think, oh, Hillary's going to win next. You know, that's what they're waiting for. Oh, we got to have a voice. And why do we have to have a voice? Because of Barack Obama put two people on that shouldn't have been on. Those two, the Kagan woman and the, and the Sotomayor woman, pff, please, they're nothing. They're, no, they're nothing burgers. <laughs> nothing burgers. No staff. They are. They're frumpy, they're frumpy white women. Yes, I said it. Sotomayor from, Sotomayor from the Bronx, she's a frumpy white woman. All these people, all these people that go to these higher she levels. Latina, though. She's a frumpy white woman. <laughs> she's a Latino. You, you, come on, don't even try it, man. You in Queens, you in Brooklyn. Okay, you tell me one, one white White Latina who thinks they ain't white. Let me rephrase that. Let me some your your so called Latina women, your Puerto Rican, whatever you want to call it, Latina. Okay, this could leave the Mexicans out of this. You know we know they want to be white. That 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 that's black. Come on, come on. Okay, maybe 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 the sister that runs the, the Caribbean Cultural Center, or whatever you know, maybe maybe her. But come on, get, who? Who you yeah, in the Bronx? You in yeah, Queens? Find that. Yeah, you're right. These are white. These people look. <laughs> I may have to come back to you next week with an answer. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out this, the sister's name from the Caribbean Cultural Center up there in Harlem. But well, she's retired now. Marta Vega. Right. Marta Vega is the closest you're going to get to anybody that understands anything about struggle or, or I'm talking about in some kind of position. Yeah. Yeah. In fact, when, when Ginsburg died, the first thing I said, I said, well, what does it mean to me? If you, unless you are flow, unless you are, unless you was a flow Kennedy, if you all you all want to do this this gender stuff, did they put Flo Kennedy on Supreme Court? Unless you are a judge Bruce Wright, did they put Bruce Wright on Supreme Court? Even yeah. Thurgood Marshall wasn't the baddest dude in the, in the, in the thing. There were some badder brothers in that. Did they put no? So this whole Supreme Court thing, just 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 stop it with this. This is ridiculous. They put that in. My question is, what what are they doing for black folk? That's all I want to know. All these people say, we got to get the clown out. We got to get him out. We got to get him out. Oh, you're right. With who? And then I, then I say, what's Biden? Get Biden giving you nothing? What is he giving you? Look, let me put it this way. Let me do it another way because yeah. people not understand what I'm saying. Bully, hey, look, I vote because I, I I vote because I'm just a voting junkie. Are you gonna vote by mail? No. Were you crazy? <laughs> when I was, when I was South Africa, you know what happened to South Africa when they send you an absentee ballot because you're yeah. not there. Your only choices are president and your congressperson, and usually yeah, what's on the absentee ballot. On an absentee ballot, I, mean, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not talking about the states. I'm talking. About, last time I voted absentee, yeah, because I was living in South Africa, 
Well, I'm, I'm still living in South Africa, but you know, I, I couldn't, you know, whatever. But now you can vote. Um, now you can vote uh, 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 electronically, right? Right. Uh, uh, I can, you know, f- from Virginia at least. But they didn't have write-in when I started voting. You know what I mean? You, you they would have the choices. And I'm trying to remember because um, um, we did an absentee ballot before. Yeah, but you're you're in and, the um, no, you're in the states. You're gonna get the whole ballot. Uh, okay. But this was actually something that was in, in um, you know, it was within the state too and city stuff. So, so yeah, so it was you a could, special election. You know, look, if I'm living in South Africa, I don't know who the, I don't who the, what am I going to do? The assembly and the, all the rest of it. They don't send me a ballot like that. Right. You see? Look, forget that. Forget. Don't worry about that. Yes, okay. I am. I'm going, I go, I vote in Virginia. What's my thing? I vote last time I was here last year. They had an election. I went there and voted and I wrote in ADOS. I told you what it I do. It has a writing line. It has a line for writing, though. That's right. Okay. If you have one, anything I got this. Remember, we went through this mock ballot. What's this yeah, mock yeah. ballot I had? Not this mock ballot. This is the one from last year. From I'm here in Missouri right now. I'm not voting Missouri, but this is from last year, November eighth. Uh, t- uh, not last. T- uh, November eighth, twenty sixteen. I got this right here. Like for instance, yeah. right now have, they have. Uh, I give it a, a, a thing. Uh, I'm going to go to one obvious one. Okay, here. State Representative District 81, vote for one, uh, right? Yeah. They have Alfred J. They have Fred Wezels, Wezel, Weasels, right? He's the only yeah. one there. He's a Dem. He's a Democrat, right? Then they have okay. right in. So obviously they didn't have a Republican person for there. So now why would I check the Democratic person and give him any credit? I would rather write in, put my, my mark for write in, and write in ADOS. If I was living in the in the district eighty one for the state rep, right? Because now this, you know, when they, they talk about polls and and uh, what do you call it, polls and the the, the, the poll says is that the only real poll is your voting poll, the exit polls and all that stuff. No, your real poll is what you write on your ballot. So, so let me go. It's up here to uh, uh, attorney general. Okay, okay. attorney general. Um. They have Teresa, somebody who's a Dem, and, and, and Josh Hawley, who's a Republican. Then they have right in, right? Now, if I'm looking at the attorney general, and I don't know who, I'm, I'm not in Missouri, so I don't know who's who here, right? But then let's just say, for just argument's sake, that Josh uh, Hawley is a Republican, is this current attorney general, or he's, he's current general, and then he's challenged by Teresa Hemsley, right? Now, it's incumbent yeah. upon me between now and then to go and find out what Therese Hemsley, what Teresa's rest record is. If she done locked up a whole lot of black folks, let me put it this way. If she locked up more black folks than Josh locked up, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> then I'm going to vote for Teresa because she locked up less black folks. Yeah, well, that's, that's a lesser of two. Is that that's a lesser of two, right? Yeah. Well, I have to do that for because that's the, that's something that man matters, Attorney General, right? But if right. I, it, but but then also I can write in. But if I write in ADOS in a certain what is what I'm trying to say with the Attorney General, it, it, to me it would matter. With let me, there's another one here. Let's say I'm trying to find uh, I'm trying to find a sheriff. Sheriff must be over here. But Attorney General is one, right? Yeah. Supreme Court. Uh, this this the the the. Where's the sheriff? There's one that had, I feel they had the sheriff here. Uh, state senator, district rep, attorney general, treasurer, state, state lieutenant governor, a vote for one. Uh, what the heck is there? I saw the sheriff someplace. Anyway, when you look at the judges, uh, Supreme Court, treasurer, uh, sheriff, sheriff. So, you know, the sheriff is the one that causing all our black lives. Without, I'm not into black lives matter, but, you know, all the, all the problems, right? So I look right. for sheriff. They have this guy, Betts, is a Dem, and this Castellano is a Republican, right? So you look right. at you look at their records. And if, 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 if you, say, for instance, if you know the Dem is automatically going to win, and he locked up a whole bunch of black people, and the black people is too stupid to look at the record and vote him out, then I would write in ADOS, Okay. Or no, no, I wouldn't do that. I'm sorry, because now Black Lives Matter is right. I would write in Black Lives Matter. Okay. That's a protest vote here, right? But if yeah. I found out that that Castellano or whatever this guy is, is promised he's going to do whatever he's going to, uh, they always promise whatever, then I'll vote for him. 
I'm not looking at Democrat or Republican. I'm looking for who, what sheriff is going to do be the best that, that didn't lock up my, my, my cousin. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. And people don't think like yeah, that. See, I, I definitely get that because, you know, I saw like a shirt <laughs> on Instagram. It was like five more kids for sale. <laughs> 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 it was an ADOS one, too. It was like, okay, I see what you're saying there because you have to look at it now these days that it's like, wait a minute, we're just not going to vote in a block for anything other than what's going to benefit us like everybody else does. Yeah, my, my vote is negotiable. <laughs> yeah. What you bring it to the table. You know what I'm saying, but everybody else's vote is negotiable. Every other group's vote is negotiable. But here's the other thing. Here's the thing. On this thing, they have the, all these things. The, this, uh, say, for instance, they have the... Uh, Missouri Court of Appeals judges, Eastern District, right? Yeah. And they and they they have two two people that's in here. They say, and it's worded like this: shall judge, uh, shall judge Ness of the Eastern District Court appeals be retained in office? Is yes or no? Yeah. Well, if you know this boy then locked up a whole bunch of black people, you say no. That's right. <laughs> if you look and you say it's your chance. Yeah, you get him out. Shall Judge uh, James N. Dow of the Eastern Court be retained? Yes or no? If that one's also bad, put no. And that's yeah. the problem I have with the. We, we went over this before. The problem I have with all these people say vote down ballot, or, or they or, or they say, so go ahead. I'm just saying we got to keep going over it. But the thing is, the local politicians, the local activists, are not going to the people and explaining this to them. No, when not. we vote down ballot, you, what you're saying is you're saying, look, if these if these judges are really bad and you have a choice to say, shall they be retained or not? Put down no. There is no writing yeah. for that. Put down no. Yeah. They don't tell them That's to do that. It's like voter education has to really expand. In fact, I think I sent you that um that video where that brother was rapping about that. Yeah, I love that. Um, That's so good. Yeah. That's so yeah, good. And, and you know where I got it from? Mm. Where? That brother, um, that actor, um, Michael K. Williams. Oh, yes, I saw it. I saw it, yeah. Yeah, it was like, oh, he put this up? I'm like, let me check this out. Then he like, knows. Oh, so let me share this. So I shared it with a bunch of people and stuff because it is true that even at this age, I've been voting since I was allowed, you know, came of age, a voting age. But like you said, um, and like it's been said, but not said enough, that there's not enough people that are educated in the entire voting process. What to vote for? Who are you voting for? Which different branches? You know, because basically they always vote on. They always focus on the national elections. Well, let's well let's do this. Okay, let's get off this. Yeah. I don't want to. We we did this a little bit. This is now. There's the question. Michael K. Williams. Who, you, who, who we know it from the wire, you know. Yeah. Hey, yeah, what's what's the thing? Baltimore. Oh, Omar's coming. Everybody in the black community, everybody, everybody respects Omar. Yeah. Everybody respected yeah. Omar. Now, now, why did they respect him? Remember, he got he's he's, he's homosexual. He always does stuff. But what did he have? He had principles. He had a code. Yeah. One of the things that people didn't see, the they they had did this whole series of when these kid these characters were younger. Did yeah. you see that one? Nah. They had the young Omar. Oh uh, yeah. Oh, you gotta look this up on YouTube. It's amazing. They they have the young Omar and they they, they, they this 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 guy at the bus stop. All all working black men at the bus stop. And some people come and, and they, they, they come and rip him off. And Omar says, wait a second, man. That's a working man. And they go back and give him back the stuff they ripped him off from as he's waiting for his bus. Because the man, had the, the, Omar, had a, as a kid, had a code. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah. yeah. Here's my problem with the people like Ice Cube and, 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 uh, and Kanye. T.I. And yeah, T.I. And even even to a certain extent, let me put it this way. Let me let me jump on on AUS right away. Um, Tone. He went through this whole thing about how they wrong or whatever have you. That's fine. I don't just. I don't, that's fine. 
But my question is, why didn't there some point in there that does doesn't does does uh, Ice Cube and Ice T and all the, all the ices and the T's and the and the uh, whatever they are the littles and whatever have you? Why aren't they all pushing this rapper? Why does it take Why does it take Omar to to push this rapper? That rap should be number one on everybody's list. And the, uh, um, um, uh, 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 Ice Cube will say, just like, what's the brother's name? What's the rapper's name? Um, it escapes me because I just like heard it. And I just passed it off. It's a powerful rap. They all yeah, should yeah. be. They all should be pushing him. Why yeah. aren't they pushing him? Let me this, go back and see if I can find it real quick. Yeah, but my question is, why why is Ice Cube yeah. talking about, yeah, we need reparations and um and and then it comes out his reparations is is for entertainment, his his little entertainment company, whatever it is. Why aren't they saying, and listen, here's here's what well, here's what I'm saying. And they and, and they take they take a little bit of time. Or Kanye take a little bit of time and say, hey, I just I just I just hit this this rapper. Here's, here's what he says. And and I agree. And, and take their time, their energy, their economy, and push that, push that rapper. Yeah. Or push that rap. But well, I don't forget the rap. So it's rap. How come Killer Mike? The message. The message. That's it. His name is the message. No, I'm just saying. Yeah. Push the message. Yeah, but the, um, but it's it's a it's an incredible rap. It's a, it's an incredible. Yeah. It's right in the style. My question is, as even as and, 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 and every all of them. Yo, Cardi B, why don't they say, "Hey, whatever I had to say is cool," but you know I me mean? here. Let me let me, let me let me show you what I just ran across and and push him out there. Yeah. Why aren't they doing that? Why isn't Kanye? Who's a who's a who's a Beyonce's husband? The 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 ugly one. The, I should not say that way. The the brother. The, <laughs> the brother. You know the one. No, the reason why. I, let me tell you something. I, I fell out with, with with Kanye and that other boy, the, the Jay Z guy. When they yeah, did yeah. that Otis Redding thing with that Mont yeah. Blanc, what was what, 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 the Otis Redding song that they did and they desecrated the song? Made it some sort of about them with the the, 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 the sparks and the and that Mont Blanc or whatever that, that, that automobile is? Oh, I, I said, oh, this is sacrilegious. They, they lost me forever then, you know? In yeah, fact, I think the brother's name Yellow Pain. Yellow Pain? Yeah, he's light-skinned. That's the one that should be pushed. Yeah. Every every rapper right now, right now for the next fifty days, how long it takes? They, that that should be number one on everybody's list. If you're a yeah. so-called rapper and you and cause you ain't said diddly, or you you Kanye, uh, look Kanye did a service by throwing all, all his 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 legal stuff, you know his his contracts out there, so people can see how it is. Cause everybody knows slave contracts anyway. But the point is, he should be saying, hey. Yellow Fever, whatever the boy's name is, you know? Yellow Pain, yeah. Yellow Pain. It's Yellow Pain. Let's hear what Yellow Pain has to say. Let's hear what Yellow Pain has to say. Everybody should be saying, what, 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 let's hear what Yellow Pain has to say. He on it. Killer Mike, what, what does Yellow Pain have to say? If you ain't saying that, you ain't, you ain't nothing. You ain't nothing. Yeah. You're opportunist. That's what I would tell him. Yellow pain. Before everybody, once you have a meet, everybody should be saying yellow pain. Hey man, did you hear what yellow pain said? Hey, hey man, did, did you check out yellow pain? Yeah. Man, I, I even like the way I'm saying it. Yellow pain, <laughs> man. It's yellow pain. Yo, man, you know yellow pain? Yeah. We should be whispering on every call. Hey man, you know yellow pain? What'd you say? Yellow pain, man. Did you know yellow pain? Yeah. If you ain't doing that, you ain't doing nothing. Don't tell me about no voting. You know, voting matters. Then you got all these other people up here. They talk about, oh, I don't know what they talking about. Yeah. It's all for voting naught. Does, voting does matter. But once again, it's like how you vote. You know, no. what are you voting for? You know, like you said, you just you got to drill down. You got to drill down. You can't just say just vote. <laughs> yeah, that's all they're saying. Vote, I, uh, and then the, you know I, I I don't want to call anybody out, but you know I, I'm on sometimes I'm on this I'm on this call with, with, with some people I know, and they say yo we gotta get rid of him we gotta get I'm going like yeah you gotta rid him for who what are you doing what rid of, rid of what for what? What, what what are you getting what are you replacing him with yeah nobody can give me an answer 
It's ridiculous. I just don't understand why people don't understand. It's right in front of your eyes. And then you have these smart Negroes, you know, these, these, these they, they got these platforms or whatever, have you, these, and you know, and yeah, the smart Negroes, you know what I'm talking about. They, they got, they got television programs and radio programs and uh, whatever they got, they got, what they go, platforms, they got platforms. Yeah. What they do with the platform? They got degrees, you know. Well, I can speak now because, you know, I, I got a degree in, in this history degree and I know what I'm talking about. No, you don't. <laughs> you don't know what you're talking about. Man, okay, let me know. Let's get off of that, man. Let's let's get off of that because, you know, you just have me go off forever. Um, uh, 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 oh, uh, did, uh, did, uh, yeah, that's right. You didn't get to see uh, Tenet, did you? Nah, man, because the New York ones are. Uh, oh, yeah, your food, your food. You know, all the, the theaters, we ain't open yet. Okay, I have to wait. I have to wait for that, but you know, tend to me is so funny because. Yeah, but let me just say this, man, before you get into that, believe me, you know, if the theaters were open, we'd be discussing it up and down right now because, you know, the Christopher Nolan films, that's that's what, uh you know, I like to check out. Well, let, let, let me do it without, without doing it. Like, let me do it, let me do it another way. Okay. Let me do. Let me do Joker. Let me do Joker. Okay. If you look at Joe, Kristen Noah's Joker, you know or, or what, what's the boy's name that died? Um, you know, um, come on, the boy that died, the Joker that died, the, the, you know, Christopher Nolan's Joker, the 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 oh, okay. Joker. I know Heath Ledger, I know. Heath, 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 Heath Heath Ledger, Ledger. Yeah. Heath yeah. Ledger Joker, right? Yeah. If you look at him, you know what I mean. What is he? White supremacist. He's white supremacist Joker. You know, and you know how you can tell because they had, they did they did the class where they do everything. And you know, I used to tell them the bad that if, if if the white dude was was the baddest dude, you know, in the seventies movies, the first thing he do is come out and he beat up on a, he beat up on a black guy. So what the yeah, joke? What the Joker do? The man. Yeah, and what did Joker do? Did Joker beat up on? Did, uh, what did Heath Ledger do? He beat up on the black guys. Yeah. You know. In fact, he beat up on um, you know, because this actor, I mean, he's, Michael John White. That's what I was gonna say, Michael J. White. You know, you know, badass. You know, badass. You, know. you can't get no better than Michael J. White. They beat up on Michael J. Right. White. In yeah. fact, it's worse than beat up on Michael J. White. They took his boy. They took his boy out. Yeah. <laughs> they took his boy. They took his boy and him out. That's how. That's how white. That's how white supremacists. That's how they do in the movies, right? And yeah. now, now what do we have? Now, now, I respect the Joaquin Phoenix Joker. You know why? This was this was slick. They were they did it really good. This is the evolution of the Joker because the Joaquin Phoenix joke, jo, jo, Phoenix Joker. He wasn't Joker. He was from the downtrodden. Yeah. They made him Joker. He metamorphed into Joker. Anybody yeah. could have been Joker. Anybody yeah. from the downtrodden could have been Joker. That's true. And what made the Joker what was so wonderful? What I really respect about the. Um, about that joke, the Joaquin Phoenix Joker, whoever the, the director who directed that, now that boy, no, he's smart. He knew what he was doing. He knew what he was doing, right? Because the joke was nothing but a mask, which, which to me was the, the system, the system of the system. The Joker is the system. The system of Anglo. He just happened to be an Anglo Joker, racist white supremacist. Okay, now that Joker, he could have no, came from the downtrodden. He could have been a Latino, yeah, or a Hispanic, if you will. You know, yeah. depending what part of the country you're from, right? And he would have donned yeah. that that Joker mask as the 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 as it, he was he he was he was the Hispanic racist white supremacist, or the Latino racist white supremacist. Or the Anglo, in this case, he was the Anglo racist white supremacist. It's the system, it's the racist white supremacist doesn't change. The agent of that, yeah. that's the one that changes. And so when now we when we finally get to this, 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 this okay. I'll, and I go, let me, you, did you say it? Did you, you don't want to say it, right? But with Tenet, you know, what happened really is you had the black, the black guy saves. Racist white supremacy. 
Yeah. To fight another day. So racist white yeah. supremacy. The white, the, the black guy had a chance to destroy the system of racist white supremacy forever and ever, but he chose not to. This is what Tenet is about. I'm not spoiling yeah. anything. Because it's just a movie, you know, you, you, you go for the ride. So so what yeah. happens is basically the black, black guy saves racist white supremacy to fight in the, uh, to, so it can, it can exploit another day. That's my review on Tenet. <laughs> wow. That's my review, okay? Now I gotta see it. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. It's a beautiful, I love the ride. Uh, it's a yeah. great ride. Hey. Yeah. All, all, do all, all due respect to Crystal Nolan. It's a great ride, yeah. you know, but it, 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 but as it is, that's what it is, you know. Okay. See now, for me, right when I see stuff like that, you see it, but because you've seen it so many times, you're sort of immune to it in a way. But mm. then, when you see a movie where it's like the black man has the role of basically being the supreme one or, you know, creating the supremacy or, you know, yeah. No, 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 freedom, no. But like, you no. know what I'm saying? Developing it in some sort of way. No. And there's always some sort of like, well, he's not quite doing it the way, the way the system actually has it set up. So no. he can't really achieve it. No, no, no. Here's, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Okay. I submit this, okay? It just came to me. Okay, good. Uh, John, what's his name? John David? John David Washington? Is that his name? Yeah. JD? JD Washington, right? Yeah. Denzel's son, right? Yeah. He is not, he's in the tradition. He is in the tradition of, of, of uh, he's in the tradition, right? Mm -hmm. His character, his black character is no different than the Idris Alba, Alba character in Prometheus. Uh, which Here I we saw. go. <laughs> okay, now you want me to make the connection? Now you ready for this? Cause no, I remember you talking. Yeah. Now, now, now you're in my, now you're in my, you're in my wheelhouse now. Hey, yeah. you know. I love movies. Yeah. There you go. Here we go. There's a thing called the noble black man. Yeah. Remember Sidney Poitier? Yeah. And, and it, the, what was that one where 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 he's got is it Richard Woodmark, whoever that but no Tony Curtis and, and he rather sacrifice his life doing the noble yeah. thing. The defiant the, ones. The defiant ones, yeah. Yeah, there you go. That's that that that's a that, that's an archetype. Is they call it archetype? Yeah. yeah, an archetype. Oh definitely. The noble black man does the noble thing. Idris Alba did the noble thing. He could have got away. But he says, nah, I'm going to sacrifice. And the whole crew, you know, the the the, the, the Asian you know, well, guy. I realize a lot of Will Smith movies, Will Smith movies are like that. No black man. It's the archetype, man. Yep. It's I the invented. archetype. I robot. It's the archetype. When I, I robot, it's, it's that's a little, but okay, yeah, yeah. I'm not going to argue. I, I robot, it's, it's a whole other thing, but I'm, but you're right, you're right, you're right. So, I mean, it's there. But, but J.D. Washington? Yeah. It's the it's this archetype, the noble black man. He saves white supremacy. The types don't change. Yeah, and we're in that type now. What's now? Now, now, listen. In fact, listen. We can move. We, we can move away from this right now. What I think is going to happen. What, what, when I first came to Africa, the thing that I noticed, and I kept on trying to tell these folks. I said, look. You can't. You you can keep on trying to catch up to you know, or or, or, or take the leavings of what, what these white people leave behind for you, and keep on trying. They're gonna put something out, and then you're gonna you're gonna embrace it. You're gonna try to envelop whatever happened. What we need to do is jump ahead. And the example I use, I say, you know, they have these trade shows all the time. So yeah. what we what we should do, like say say for instance, I'm just gonna name uh, old company, say Sony. I'm, I'm not gonna leave these young companies. Say Sony. Sony has a trade show. In Cape Town, right? And then the product that they put out, they're gonna say this is the product that's gonna come out next year. All right. But we should we should contact them before they put the product out and say, hey, look, give us some of those prototypes for this project, this project that they do, this product that you're putting out, whatever it is, the newest, I don't know, say virtual, whatever it is, right? And you say, yeah. 
and we're gonna we, when you're gonna when you have this trade show, say say this is say this is this this is gonna be now, say October, right? They know what the price is gonna be when they when they have this trade show in March. They know what they're gonna they're gonna have. They've been in, in development, right? Give us the product yeah. now in 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 in, in, in October, right? We're gonna work with it in the townships, right? Yeah. When you come, when you come for your trade show in March, right? We're gonna give a report. We're gonna give a demonstration of how we worked in a township, right? And then you can say, "Here, this is my, I love this phrase. I made this up myself. It's township tested, you know. Yeah. <laughs> in other words, it could work. <laughs> it, it, if we work in a township, it could work any place on the planet. Now, what happens is we give them the thing. So now, now we have we have township people demonstrated at this trade show. What's going on, right? But because yeah. we worked with it for oh, for half a year already, now the township people they know how the technology works way ahead of time. Yeah. And plus, you've gifted them a bunch of them, so they've been working on this technology. So now, when this technology comes to the whole world, they they're up ahead. Yeah. This is one of my one of my brilliant ideas that I didn't get a chance to do only because of a bunch of other things. I'll do some other things, right? So it's the same thing right now. Because and now if I can slip if I can slip over to Bitcoin, right now, you know, because of the way the structure is in in in, in Africa, you see Nigeria is doing it right now. They they're doing a lot more Bitcoin with exchange, and because of the money kind of the money system, right? We yeah. all should be doing. Uh, I'm, I'm 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 not gonna say cryptocurrency. I'm just gonna go right to Bitcoin. Yeah. Because because yeah. we use our phones, you know. To, to, to exchange stuff or whatever have you. So if you if you have a Bitcoin system and we're all in Bitcoin right now, what will happen is we don't have to worry about no exchange rates anymore. You're not going through yeah. the banks. You're your own yeah. sovereign bank. Yeah. Right? And we should be doing that right now all over Africa. Yeah. That knocks all the banking system out. But not only that, now we can really communicate with each other. Because if I want to sell you some prune juice, I don't have to now change it to dollars and you got to change it to, you know, rands and then this got to, eh, and that. no, Bitcoin, uh, uh, you know, whatever Bitcoin for the prune juice, that's it, done. You got your prune yeah. juice. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> you know? yeah. No middleman, no nothing, not, nobody taking off the da 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 da. And that's it. Now, I don't know if you've been, um, look, look, black man, yeah. I- I'm going to give you an assignment. Let, let, in fact, let me pull rank. Let me say this, man, because I'm t- now I'm tired of people because I'm around here and people I'm listening to stuff that's going on. Say, you know, these idiots. I'm sitting right here. What am I? I'm a traveler witness. People don't understand my power. I have seen stuff. I can see stuff in the logical near future, and nobody's listening to what I have to say. Nobody. So now I'm gonna make you listen. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, oh, really? okay, I'm listening because you're my collaborator, right? So I gotta right. wait. Well, I gotta get back to. I gotta. I gotta send. I gotta, I gotta get to to my man and uh, uh, to to Mr. Foley and, and talk to him because he listens to me too. Well, you know, he, uh, well as much as you can. The way the future is going is this. In fact, I just okay. f- first of all. You are now, you have to subscribe. I don't care, whatever, who else you're listening to. Stop listening to MSNBC, whatever all those people. I don't care, who else you listen to, all these other. You have to listen to the Orange Pill podcast. Stacey Herbert, Max Kaiser. Yeah. You must. This is an assignment. They come on once a week. You go back, you get this list. There's two or three. Guys. The one he just did today. Today, yeah, I guess because I heard it this morning. Right? With the guy from England. Just this week, it was announced that Facebook, you know, the one that I that I don't I don't deal with Facebook at all, they're going to have this thing. Basically, everybody's going to go to this virtual reality thing, and then you got to really sign away your life, you know, to be a part of this network. You got to sign into Facebook, which I'm never going to do. But what he okay. says, kind of interesting, just like Linux, as you let Facebook do this, there's going to be some open software for this. We all right. need to jump on the open software part, so we're not beholden to Facebook. You see, just like, you know, okay. you know, you had the Linux system. We got to start, you know, yeah. these all alternative things. Well, now what yeah. will happen is basically your everything, your, your, your crypto, whatever have you, is going to be on. You, you're going to you, you'll be able to. OK, say, for instance, you want to uh, take a vacation to Japan for whatever reason. I don't know why you want to go to Japan, but say you want to go to Japan. Yeah. Okay. You put on your virtual glasses, your virtual set. 
You're in Japan. You want you want to buy something in Japan? You know what I mean? A Japanese, you know, you fashion kind of thing. You spend your little Bitcoin, buy it there, and you'll get it. It means you they'll send it to you right away. Okay. In other words, it's no longer you, there's no more nation states. It's all going to be companies now. Okay. But also the exchange, the exchange, where you, you, we're not going to be dealing with yen and dollars, whatever. You're going to be dealing in Bitcoin. Bitcoin is the one that's going to just that's, that's going to be the one. It's going to be the dominant. That's right. No matter what everybody says, because Bitcoin is good, their hash rate and everything is, is that's it. So we need to get into Bitcoin right now. And that's why did, did did you check out the the, the blockchain summit, the Black Blockchain yes, Summit? Yes, I did. But what what, what and, you talk, what, 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 what did you learn from there? Go, I'm sorry. Go ahead. What, you, what did I was you say? One of the things I pulled from it was how they were saying how to monetize. Um, our creativity. Did you see that? Did you see that part? I think so. Yes, I think I know. I, I, I saw several panels. The, the ones I was really yeah. interested in. The, the panel that I was talking about was the one that you sent me the link for. Okay. Yeah, the one with all the. He had um the brother that had the um, Sayaki is black. Satoshi. Is black. Satoshi is black. Yeah. Right. Satoshi is black. Then you had the sister. Was talking about you know, you know our history of, of um, you know being creative and creating things you know, and then you had the brother who was like a um, either he was like a professor or a scholar. Yeah. 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 So now it was the conversation the two of them had in particular. The brother that that was um that had the um the Siaki show. He was basically hosting it. He was like sort of like the moderator. Yeah. But what the two of them were discussing was like saying, like, look, they even mentioned like, you know, the music, our um urban lexicons and all of that can be monetized, that we own that. That's right. Opposed to just giving it away to the world where you you know, you'll see commercials and people but you know, using our lexicons and stuff like that, you know, using our, our speech and just throwing it in a commercial and it's like, Oh yeah, but you know, now the general public thinks that, you know, these urban phrases and stuff like that have meaning when it, it starts where we're at. So if we were to monetize even just those things, that would be, you know, a boon for us because we're always creating. And, you know, one of the ways brothers, one of the ways brothers said he wanted to trademark the word nigger. So every time somebody used the word nigger or copyright, they had to pay him, which is... Yeah. Brilliant. <laughs> we, yeah. we couldn't do it, of course. But see, those kind of things, like when you say 24-7, all those kind of, that, that's a minor thing. I shouldn't say it that way. That, that's what it is, right? But here's, here's what I'm really looking at. We have to jump. We can't, we can't, you know, we, you know, we look, reparations, we need that to have, to have some sort of point, you know, to have the, some uh, 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 financial mooring, you know what I mean? But even yeah. in reparations, right, what I was, like I said, like, 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 like they, they, they only know what they know. You yeah. know, they, 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 they can't really think beyond that. So, because they, people talk about reparations, there's all kinds of things, like, you know, there's, we, we have supposed to have reparations. Like, for, I, get, I get a double reparation, because, you know, remember, my grandmother, my great-grandmother is Mo, full Mohawk Indian, Mohawk right. Native, as I should say. You know what I mean? So, since for, for a bunch of reasons, I got to get that, that, that strain is in there, you know what I mean? I mean, I got a whole bunch of things happening, you know what I mean? But but uh, I was listening to Black Black Truth just before I talked to you, and he was talking about something that I, I, I know before. But even just the fact when they put when they put the highway system in, they went through all the black neighborhoods and destroyed them. That's reparations right there. The government did that. Yeah. They did pay us for that, for destroying our neighborhoods. For, you know, Robert for, Moses, right? That's right. Uh, this, was, this was a whole, but the whole Eisenhower, because when yeah. Eisenhower saw the Audubon and they realized that the military equipment go through the Audubon, they made the highway system so they can get military equipment through the highways. Yeah. You know, that's why it's a freeway. You know, it's, it's free to, to, to get the military equipment through. But they went through black communities, destroyed the black communities for that. Well, that's reparations. Yeah. But even before that, like, like when they, this is what I'm, this is what I, I'm trying to push on. This is why I'm, I'm so, uh, if, if the, if the ADOS nodes, I call them nodes, if the nodes, you know, the little chapters can all say at one time, oh yeah, even as you put this little um, panel together, this HR40 panel, whatever it is, 
as a good faith effort, you know, as a, as a, as a test group, group for this, because there should be a debt jubilee. Now, I want to get into the whole debt thing, whatever have you, debt jubilee for ADOS. So right. even as you get, even as the, these, uh, they study the commission, well, we need to identify the people that's going to be, eventually, these commissions going to be in favor of, therefore, we have to identify ADOS. So as a part of identifying ADOS, we're going to give everybody ADOS a debt jubilee. In other words, your debts are paid. So therefore, we got to now start identifying them, even as you do your, your, your thing. And these people get debt jubilee, because if, if it works for them, then it could work for the entire population. So this is our test group. So as we get this debt jubilee to see how that works, how the economy changes with, with this group of people, then we can expand it to everybody else. Because up until now, what you, you've done is you use us, you know, to, to do the nefarious things. You know, hey, let's test out and see, see how this drug works in this community or how, or how this contraceptive works in this community or how, how many people we can lock up in this community. Well, now we're going to sort of reverse it. When I say reverse it, we're going we're gonna to do another thing. We're going to do something, uh, here we go, positive which we're going to give a debt jubilee to this group of, of ADOs, even as we study this stuff. That's what should be, that's what, that's one of the things, if I had to say one thing for ADOs, as they go with these other brilliant things that they go on with these studies and the, and, and, and the charts and the bada da yada da whatever they're going to do, I'll say, debt jubilee, at least something, you know, or, or as, as they having a tangible, Dan Allen right had the whole tangible thing, hey, but debt jubilee, tangible debt jubilee right now, no, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the oh, that's that's the one thing I would do. The second thing yeah. I would do, well, that's that's what I do. Then on a personal level, you know, be trains. Anyway, what they try to long distance travel by train is going to be obsolete. They try to put everybody into airplanes and buses. No, we need the rail system back, passenger rail. But that's my own personal thing. So, yeah. Yeah. What do you think yeah. of high speed rail? I don't care. We can't do high speed rail here. There's too much stuff in the day. Now, I don't, I don't, yeah, they can try whatever they want to do, two braille, whatever they want to try. I don't care what they do. You know what I mean? But you know, you got too much infrastructure. You got too much people to pay off. I, I, it's too complicated right now. South Africa okay. can do it. It's, parts, parts of Africa can do it uh, easy because, yeah. you know, they got the land. Yeah. You know, you can high speed, you can high speed rail all over Africa. You know, yeah. which goes with the other thing. The other thing, because, OK, the other thing I want to say, uh, and we can uh, we can end it here if we want, is that black people, uh, ADOS, what we really need to do, despite what, despite, you know, Yvette and them talking about oh, Africa, blah, blah, yeah, Iceland, Iceland, oh, please, you need to have, you need to have, you can do it through the internet and through, again, with through Bitcoin and like that. You need to make contacts with people all over Africa, not just in Nigeria or South Africa, or whatever, other places, like one of the places I want to go to is Malawi, you know, make your contacts, make people through virtual thing, again, virtual, however, through contacts with somebody in Africa, you can help them with their goat farming or help them, whatever it is, when you get to your, your reparations, whatever, have you so that you have you have you have places to go to yes your home this is my home but i also need places other places on the planet now i already have a place in south africa you know believe me i got a place in believe i got places all over the planet you know what i mean if something happens yeah. i don't have to stay in the, in the states believe me i don't have to stay in the states in fact i'm going and at the end of the year one of the reasons i'm going to canada i got to make some a canadian connection to make sure that, that that's solid but my point really is like, you know, we really, really need right now to make your virtual as well as your your con your internet contact with, with with Africa right now. Or other land masses. You don't have to do at just Africa. You know, you need to make friends a lot. Like I say, Belize, I mean I, Belize is one of my places because I just I just love Belize, you know what I mean? You know, uh, Brazil, whatever, you know. Yeah. Well, well, oh, 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 what's that? Guyana, the Caribbean, whatever it is. You know, you make your you make your contacts, you make your business contacts through through, through Bitcoin or whatever it is, and that's it. And then one of the other thing about this whole virtual thing is that they don't have to see what you look like. Somebody might just say, oh, "I don't like that old man. That old man with the he got, I don't like people with gray hair, something like that." So, yeah. uh, is it your art memory? Who who did the art? They look like the sound waves in your group. That did, did the art that looked like the I'm sorry, I'm, 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 I'm make the connection. On Instagram, right? Who yeah, does, that was me. I did that. Right, with the, they looked like the sound waves, right? It was sound waves. But, okay. 
Now, come on now, you got to help me with this. You know what I'm talking about. I'm, I'm, I'm coming. I really loved it because I, I immediately, look, when I look at that, I look at audio waves and I look at, I'm saying, hey, if I say the word audio dramatist, right? Yeah. And I flip that backwards, right? Yeah. That would be my avatar. So instead of seeing my face as, as the blockchain, you would see, you would see audio dramatist backwards. Right. As rendered by, you know, the black man in whatever different colors. That would be my avatar. You, you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So, so you, so you, so you're all over the world. Your avatar, you, 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 you are your avatar. You know. So if your avatar is a little kitten, that's your avatar. They don't see you because if they see you, there's a prejudice there. You know. Yeah. I don't like light skin. People that rap about, I don't like light skinned people that rap about, you know, voting. So I ain't going, I'm going to ignore that person because he's light skinned rapping about voting. Yeah, but what if, what if he was a, a, a sloth rapping about voting, you know? <laughs> yeah. I hear what you're saying. So that's. Or an animated kitten or something like that. You so know? The, the, the avatars was going to change things also because then people can't. That they, you you can't use this prejudice this 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 white supremacy kind of thing to do your thing. That's funny that you should mention that because I actually saw something that was talking about that with like um with the video games with Fortnite and other stuff yes, like that. Exactly. You don't have to be you don't have to be the fat the the the, the fat little pudgy person on the couch. All of a yeah. sudden, all of a sudden, you're 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 a tall, lanky female. Yeah. Whatever, and that's that's what the world is going to. Unless unless your niche is the people on the couch that are chubby, that it's like, yeah, here I am. I'm one of you. Look at me. But that's that's where the world is coming to, and that's what people. I don't. I think that people don't understand the world. No, no. Is, well, well, I know from um, my Instagram. I've learned mm-hmm. being on Instagram that it's like because I remember when I first song um, got on. You know, people were saying to me, like, well, what are you going to do? You're going to do this? You're going to do that? And I'm like, I'm just going to do my thing. And then over time, you find your tribe. Yep. I'm, 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 I'm liking East Nation because, you know, as you know, I do my I do my less than 15 second thing in the morning to get everybody up to, to moving. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I've, I've, I've incorporated the dog more into that. You know, because I, I really yeah. enjoy that. But that was just me to understand Instagram, just a little bit of understanding. And then I expanded. Now I'm, I'm doing, you know, the little bit longer form as a morning thoughts, either ADOS or just what I call morning thoughts, right? Yeah. But, but now I'm do, what I'm doing is I'm doing that morning thought, but then I still have my YouTube channel. So now I'm trying to uh, basically say, hey, that I'm going to take this morning thought and expand it for my regular rant on my YouTube, right? And yeah. that doesn't include, and then plus I got to, I still have, I got to do more of my, my interviews. But since my interview subjects are not cooperating very well, I mean, you know, you're, you're, you're it, but I, I maybe I have to push a little bit more, but I have to do more of my, because I love my interviews more than I like anything, you know? Yeah. Now, so I want to do that, but, uh, but, 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 but I'm, I'm liking Instagram and I haven't used it to, to the fullest yet. I just, I just uh, uh, signed up for a VPN. Um, oh, yeah. From okay. the comedian, this, uh, what is it? Something shark, shark something, VPN. Uh, they had some th- three year deal. It's pretty 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 good uh, yeah. thing. So I'm gonna do the VPN. So I, 